Now let's get to Coinbase. Oh man, Coinbase topped out up here around 187.61. I drew uh, these boxes. These are some gaps that we see on Coinbase. People thought I was crazy for even thinking that. Now these are still a long way away, you know, $100 or $80, but we've seen a big drawdown off of uh, Coinbase. Getting into oversold area here, so maybe I need to look for a buy because we also do see the 50% FIB level here at 129.13. Wyckoff likes to buy pullbacks at the 0.5 level. Uh, also likes to buy strong assets in individual sectors. So we like the crypto sector, the Bitcoin sector. That's what Coinbase is in. It's one of the strong assets. And now we are approaching this 50% FIB level. This could potentially have been an A, B, and we're working on a C down, which should lead us, at least even in a bearish case, a rally back to this 160 level whenever we find a low down here. So this is when I got my eyes on patreon.com slash learn crypto. We'll get the buy. Twitter will get the buy at some point uh, if we get a nice setup. Again, we're getting close, but I do think we still have downside risk here to 115. And if Bitcoin really wants to sell off, I'm not saying it's a for sure, but just hypothetically, Bitcoin goes to 36 to 38,000. I think there is a possibility of filling this gap around $100, uh, which would be just below this 200 moving average, but hold above the 300 moving average most likely. Uh, so this is one we've traded with great success, selling, buying back cheaper, selling, buying back cheaper, selling, buying back cheaper, selling. We got left behind here on this last sell due to a stop. Uh, but uh, we just didn't feel comfortable with what Bitcoin was doing. And Bitcoin really hasn't moved much for this uptrend here. And now we're seeing, uh, you know, Coinbase really back and fill as the Bitcoin spot ETF approval has happened down 29%. I still think Coinbase is going to be a big winner in the bull market. So we want to find a reentry, but it has to make sense. I think the first objective here is somewhere around this 0.5 FIB level. Let's see what else. Mara. Mara, we gave a sell at 24.80 maybe 25 dollars i think it was more around 24.80 here took a lot of flack when it continued to run for another day to 30 dollars somebody said there's no reason to sell why are you selling this leading into tax seizing leading into the bitcoin etf nick you're an idiot why would you take profits on mara now and cocoon and cocoon now mara all the way back below 20 dollars on my recent uh, post in patreon i said we have interest points around 20 and at this point five fib at 1928 with downside risk all the way to 15 bucks we still are not oversold on the RSI. We're still also not oversold on the technometer or Wyckoff indicator. But we have seen a nice pullback here. This could have been an ABC completing. We have to look at the charts because we are in this range of interest. And we are down now 22% from our profit sell. This is how we compound winners. We get profit sales, so you're making money. We look to buy back cheaper. We can get back the same amount of shares and bag the profits for another opportunity or increase our share position for the next run up in an asset that we think is in a proper sector for the next market cycle. Mara is a Bitcoin miner, uh, one that we have some interest in and we are looking to buy for another trade at some point. If you want that trade in real time, patreon.com slash learn crypto. Also keep it monitoring our, our social media. At some point we will post, post that for public consumption as well, but we don't know where the, pr the price will be at that point if it's a quick reaction you guys may be late to the party but again i told you this is an area of interest we're keeping an eye on it but i'm just not getting the signals just yet um and no real news no real news of interest earnings is up here close to the bitcoin having so that should be interesting as well we know the earnings still might be better uh leading into the bitcoin having because the higher inflation rate of bitcoin they should be earning more bitcoin the earnings after the bitcoin having if bitcoin price is not substantially higher i think uh could be risky for a lot of these miners as that inflation rate has been half so in theory the revenue is cut in half if the bitcoin price stagnates for those people micro strategy another one that we traded like a fool buy sell buy back cheaper sell buy back cheaper sell we didn't miss this run up again uh we just didn't like the action what we were seeing we were just pulling profits into cash after buying back and compounding our shares several times big money there and now we're seeing a big drawdown off the highs on micro strategy this thing went to over 720 dollars and it's already back to 497 when i put this area of interest here between 385 to 400 dollars when we were up at these highs people thought i was crazy you are a fool nick what are you talking about and now let's look at where we're at $499. We're already below the 0.5 FIB level. We got the 618, which Wyckoff still likes, that correlates with the previous high at 469, which is still another 
forty dollar downside and would start to line up with the 200 moving average and the 300 moving average but this is a gap folks this has a potential of getting filled now we are watching this because micro strategy out of all the bitcoin and crypto related stocks that we trade and that we're watching is the most oversold and we also do have an oversold reading on our proprietary technometer which is normally a buy setup if bitcoin holds and starts reversing micro strategy would be the first asset that we look to take a trade on as we did fall into this gap between the 0.5 and the 0.618 this previous uh, trading zone here and we have had a huge drawdown now we would look for some if, if we're buying around these levels you would look for some consolidation the 200 moving average to move up here to support it the 300 moving average to move up here to support it otherwise you still have downside risk to this previous high and man if Bitcoin does the 38 to you know 36 to 38 thousand this is definitely in play you have a 786 you have a gap uh, and uh, those gaps like to get filled it would take some time to get there because you're gonna need these indicators to reset so some sideways let this reset we dump again and we get a bullish divergence near this zone in which you go long and ride this thing to Valhalla leading into the next Bitcoin bull market as Bitcoin trends towards one hundred thousand dollars do 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 what else we got here what else riot this is another Bitcoin miner uh, we are seeing a massive sell-off. You can see here we had the head and shoulders. Let's see what the objective is on a potential head and shoulders here. From the neckline drop down. And what do you know? Look at that objective. Not even drawn. Uh, this is a gap I marked a long time ago. This is a gap all the way down here between 1050 and 1062. Look what the measured move of this head and shoulders is. 1082. 1082 you have a bearish cross here the 200 moving average crossing to the 300 moving average you got some more positive action out of it and then now we are dumping out below the below these moving averages and what do you know that would be wild if that happens and that would be a buy we're not quite overbought i would like some consolidation let this reset to neutral another dump out into this target range bullish divergence go long into the next bitcoin bull cycle leading us towards 100,000. Bitcoin miners will do well for the foreseeable future. You have the earnings here mid-March. This is before the halving. So I'd expect earnings to be pretty decent. Then we have the same concern we have with Mara is the next earnings might be lackluster unless Bitcoin price appreciates quite significantly because realize the revenues potentially are cut in half by the halving event. It's going to be much harder to mine those Bitcoin blocks, sell that Bitcoin for profits or whatever it may be. So I think if we can get washed out, get an entry, this earnings can be decent leading into this earnings, leading into the Bitcoin halving hype. We see another trade exit point up in here for profits once again.